Hey friends. So yesterday I made a video while I was en route to close on my refinance of my home. So I got so many compliments and questions and concerns from you guys. So I decided why not just make a video about it. So this video is going to show you how I went from a 30 year mortgage to a 15 year mortgage with no money down. So a little bit of backstory. Next month, July would make four years that I've been in my house. I got my house through a first time home buyers program, which is considered um, in DC is HPAP. Um, we can talk about HPAP a little bit later, but today I just wanna talk about the process I went through yesterday. So HPAP got me into an interest rate of 4.25, which was the going interest rate three, four years ago. Uh, okay, so when we hit this pandemic and with all the uh, people getting laid off and people losing their, losing their jobs, um, not being worked and not being worked, um, unemployment and all that, and with it was so many, it was so much talk about banks giving out um, deferred payments for your mortgages. Um, a lot of um, like the Comcast and Verizon and those things were giving people um, breaks on their bills. So I was like, well, shoot, I was fortunate enough to still work, but I also knew like. Maybe let me just try my hand with seeing if I can get my payments lowered. So um, I've always known a little bit about refinancing, but I never really thought that I would do it because when I first found out about refinancing, it was it was from people who had did it that did it to pull the equity out of their homes. So it's it's three reasons why you want to refinance. Three of the most reasons why. Most, most times people will do it because they want to pull out equity out of their home to either um, do upgrades or to buy another home or whatever the case they do it for. The second reason is to lower their monthly payments, which is what, what was my reason of going into it. And then the third reason, which I learned um, pretty, I, I learned a lot about in this process is to go from a 30 year to a 15 year, year mortgage. So going into this, I was like, hmm, let me see if I can refinance and get my payments lower. So the, the one thing I did some research and the first thing I found out was when you're thinking about refinancing your home or your car, because both of those go hand in hand. But for me, when, you, when I thought of when you think about refinancing your home, you the, the first place you want to go is possibly who you already have your loan with at first. So I called Penny Mac, who I who I bank with, not bank with, but who I have my home loan with. And um, when I got my credit and stuff ran, they told me that they can get me as close as a 3.7. So going from a 4.25 to a 3.7, I was like, hmm, that's not too too bad. But when I did the numbers, it's still over a 30 year lease. It's re I'm really just paying about the same amount. And they were saying that was the least that they can do. So I was like, okay, yeah, no, I'm out on that one. I did a little bit more research. So what I came up with was when you're thinking about refinancing your home, when you go in, when you're keeping it at a 30 year lease, you or mortgage, you want to at least get 1% drop. So they wanted me to go from the 4.25 to a 3.76, I believe. That wasn't really worth my the bang for my buck. So I decided to go somewhere else. So found out the second best place to go to is any mostly credit unions, unit unions, but any bank that you bank with. So I bank with Navy Federal. So I called Navy Federal up, got my stuff ran again, um, because when you, what you guys don't realize is a refinance is basically a whole new home loan. So every time you go through this process, you, you're getting a pull. So Navy Federal went through um, the process. With, I went through the process with Navy Federal, and they told me that they can give me just about the same thing that that Penny Mac had said over the 30 year. So um, the person that I was talking to, I was like, okay, so what are all of my options? And that's when she really got into the whole 15 year thing to me. So if, let me take it back a little bit. Initially, I always thought when people go from a 30 year to a 15 year, your mortgage would probably double, if not quadruple, quadruple or whatever. So I was like, hmm, let me just see what the rates are for the 15 year. And when she told me the rates for the 15 year, it was a little bit smaller um, than the the amount that they wanted for the 30 year, lo, lo, less payments amount, but it was the, the interest was still the same. So I was like, hmm, maybe that doesn't work for me. So I did what I typically do. When I hit a hard rock, I always go to my friends, my realtor friends, my um, friends who already have homes, people that I work with and stuff, and then my last resort, Facebook. 
social media is really good right now for getting um, all of your FYI's or your do-it-yourself questions or any of those things. So I made a post asking if anyone had um, history in refinancing. Um, I also asked about FHA loans and convention loans because all this was so new to me. So I was able to get hooked up with this um, realtor guy who told me, I told him the rates that Navy Federal and Penny Mac had given me, and he told me that he had a lender that he wanted me to hook up with. So I hooked up with his lender. This was back in like April, end of April. I hooked up with his lender. We ran some numbers and stuff, and I basically told her, because at this point, I'm like two weeks in. And in the type of person I am, I do my research. So I'm two weeks in with starting from thinking about the idea until when I meet with her. But in that two weeks, I have done so much research. So I'm like, hmm, I know I need to be at least 1% less than what I'm already paying now. So mind you, I'm at 4.25. So I'm like, all right, well, look, we want to do 3.25 or at least at the, at the most 3.5. Because I think 3.5 is typically the gravy area for um for interest rates on homes so that's what i'm saying in my head we at least be one percent down um it has to at least be if it's going if we're going to keep it at 30 year it has to at least be no more than um 200 more of what i'm paying already or at least keep it where i am or if i do the 15 year i'll go up to 200 at least but i was okay with going up 250 just to get the half of the um the payment off so she did the numbers and she came back to me and was like, Miss Hooks, we got some good news. She told me that for the 15 year, I can get you the 2.65. It's going to only take your monthly payments up $50 and it shortened me from a 30 year note to a 15 year note. So I'm like, wow. So it's not really registering to me. So she sent me the paperwork and the numbers and I'm like, oh my God, I'll save like almost $100,000 by just lowering my interest rate and almost half and taking my mortgage loan from 30 years to 15 years so that extra 15 years i'm not paying that interest and that and when she sent me those numbers i was like oh yeah this is it so we did all the paperwork we got everything together it took like a whole two months to get this because of the covid stuff we a lot of stuff wasn't um people weren't working and stuff so we got it done in two months and yesterday i closed so now i went from a 30-year mortgage with a 4.25 interest rate to a 15-year mortgage and now i'm at a 2.65 interest rate my mortgage only went up 50 50 something dollars and i will be i will pay that off faster than i would in the 30. Most people lock into 30-year mortgages and be still paying a mortgage, depending on if you take loans out on a mortgage or not, they still pay the mortgage up into their retirement. That was not what I wanted to do. So this came right at a good time. So the second part of my whole thing I have going on is I also have my car note, which I'll be done paying that at the end of the summer. So my car note is $600. And when I finish paying it, I'm so used to paying a car note. Once I finish paying it, I'm going to take that $600 that I was already used to paying monthly that came directly out of my check anyway that I didn't miss. I'm going to start putting that on the principal of my home. So let's back up a little bit. When you think about home loans, you have to think of it in two different ways. You have your interests and you have your principal. So when you think about, because I got a question, um, did I lose money or is that a waste because I'm starting a new loan over? So like I told you guys, I've only been in my house now for four years. So yes, those payments that I was making monthly to the mortgage company for those four years, I don't see that money back. But when you think about the whole loan, those four years, I probably was only paying the interest. When you get into a car loan or a home loan, at the you pay the interest off at the top so how i looked at it is i'm not looking at it as a loss how i'm looking at it is basically i lived here in my home for four years and i paid rent and when i say rent i say that because rent is just a waste you pay it monthly to have you paid to even if it's the Barack Company, William C. Smith, Nerla Gardens, or whatever you stay, you're paying them rent monthly. Money that you will never see again. The next month, if you don't pay your rent, you'll get evicted. And all that money is just wasted. So, for the past four years, I basically, in my head, I'm looking at it as I basically paid rent. 
which was really the interest that I was paying to the mortgage company. So when I redid this loan now, my mor my loan is for the same about, about, about the same amount that it was when I started four years ago. But that's the con part of it. But the pro of it is instead of me paying 30 years interest for 30 years, I'm only going to be paying 15 years. The same amount of money that I was paying monthly for those 30 years, I'm paying it now for only 15 years. And the interest is cut half. So I'm not, let's just say my mortgage is a thousand dollars. I'm paying them 300 for the interest and or well, 400 for the interest and 600 to the house. I had been doing that for 30 years. Now, since my mortgage interest rate is half and I'm saying, I'll say I'm still paying that a thousand dollars now for the 15 years. I'm paying them 200 and 700 is going to, the, I mean, um, 300 and 700 is going to the mortgage. So I'm basically paying the house off faster because the interest rate is, is, is lowered. And being as though it's only in 15 years, I'm actually saving money because I don't have to pay that extra 15 years of interest, if that makes any sense. So going back to the card note thing, I won't have a card note after a few months. So I'm going to take that that six hundred dollars a month that I was used to paying and putting it on my interest. I mean, on my principal. So when you do that, you have to make a separate payment because every month you pay your mortgage. Every month is interest and principal, interest and principal, and interest and principal. But any payment that you pay extra within that month, you put that on your principal. So that's basically that six hundred dollars every month for twelve months. How many years I plan to do it? That would go straight on the house. So with me paying my mortgage every month and paying that extra $600 a month, I have now taken my mortgage loan from 15 years to about seven to eight years. So that is my plan. That's how you get the best bang for your buck. Um, it's so crazy because growing up in the African-American communities, which I have, we weren't taught that at home. We weren't taught those type of um, gems in school. We wasn't taught that in the working world. We, 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 we go to school, we get taught what they want to teach us, and we never get taught how to better ourselves, how to make the money make money for us. We never was taught how to ask questions and stand up for ourselves. So if you don't take anything from this, I want you guys to take this. When it's dealing with your money or your time or anything that's dealing with your house, your car, your, your bills, you set a standard. You do some edu you do you educate yourself, you figure out what's 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 going, what everybody else is doing, um, what's right, what's wrong, but you set a standard. Like with me, my standard was it has to be at least one percent lower. If I'm gonna stay at 30 year, it gotta be the same payment. If I'm gonna to go to 15 year, it can't be no more than 200 250 dollars more in my mortgage. And I, I set that standard and I had to tell people no on a rate. I told my, my Penny Mac no, I told Lady Federal no. And then I finally found that lender that was like, okay, we can meet all those all those marks. So you set a standard and you make people meet you here when it deals with your money. The black dollar is so important in the black community and we don't understand that. That's what I wanted you guys to take from this. But I'm going to tell you what I took from, from this whole pandemic. What I took from this pandemic is we spend so much money. We waste money. We spend too much money. The black dollar is what making what is what make all of these companies stay afloat. Why do you think these companies are trying to band now with um, Black Lives Matter? and Black men been getting killed for years. Why 2020 y'all want to stand for Black Lives Matter? And then some of them haven't even stood. The reason why is because it's getting rumored that we're waking up. It's getting rumored that black people are, are making businesses. Black people are entrepreneurs. Black people are buying their homes. Black people ain't renting and wasting money and wasting time and doing all those things anymore. I used to do it. I used to spend money on crazy things. Now I'm not doing it anymore. I make I'm gonna make the money. I'm gonna make my money work for me. I hope that you guys got something from this. If not, I'm sorry. Um, if, if you want, please like this post, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment, pros, cons, a's, nays, anything else that you want me to talk about in the comments. Thank you guys.